head home back to the West. They are the men and women who fly into the most turbulent skies, directly into the eyes of monster storms. They are the hurricane hunters. We have to look at the least of the severe weather and try to pick our way through it. On their sky-high missions, they encounter high winds, hail, even tornadoes. Anything that, that you're concerned about down here uh, pretty much happens up there. Despite the ugly weather, it is a thing of beauty. You just see the towering clouds off and the blue skies. You want to see a bunch of people get their faces in the window with cameras and things. That stadium effect uh, that you've seen in pictures. But make no mistake, the raw power of these systems create bumpy rides for the crew. Sometimes it's those systems that are just developing. Those can uh, actually be the worst ride. When we're ready to release, the sun goes in the tube. And when they pierce the eye, slide it down. The real work begins. This is the transmitter here that sends all the data back to the aircraft. Sensors called drop sons in cardboard tubes are dropped into the eye wall of a storm, measuring everything from wind speed to barometric pressure. The station is used to transmit the information that we gain. The data is sent back in real time to scientists at the National Hurricane Center, who use it to make their forecasts on a storm's strength and track. The Air Force C-130 data gets bounced off the satellite directly into the lap of the hurricane specialist and can directly influence what we say the current intensity and size of the hurricane is. But it's not just giant, sturdy, military C-130s that fly into the storms. The NOAA G-4 jet samples the environment around the hurricane. That information goes into our computer models that then provide better forecasts when they have this additional data. We cover 3,600 nautical miles of range on the aircraft, cover some serious ground. This is where our onboard flight meteorologist sits. For the crew members, it's a long day, it's extremely dangerous. Flaps, set zero. And sometimes, it's personal. It was Hurricane Sandy. Uh, I was born in the Bronx, New York, and I remember flying that storm maybe a day or two away from landfall. I have family and friends about to be impacted severely by this storm. But they say it's also worth it, knowing they're risking their lives in hopes of helping others. It's kind of surreal also knowing the devastation that's down below us. I'm Belkis Nore, 7 News.